Hey guys, this is Danny Nunez Auto here. Welcome to another Pro Tools tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use automation. Automation is a technique used in mixing, and there's a few way there's there's a few ways for you to go about doing it in Pro Tools. In this video, I'll just be showing you one way. Okay. Also, you probably noticed that my track, my bass track, is a lot louder than actually a lot uh, bigger. In my other tracks here and the way and how I and how I changed the size of the tracks is I just went over here to the side right here right click and you have a few choices to pick from you know from micro to fit to window another way of doing it is a control click and you'll get the same drop down menu okay and just go ahead and play the bass track for you so you know how it sounds like originally Okay, and let me just jump right into automation. Okay, and the way you do that is just go here, go over here to waveform. You gotta drop that menu. Go ahead and select volume, and you notice that you get this uh this horizontal line that comes across your track here. Okay, go up here, select hand tool, and click, hold, and drag up and down you can do left right diagonal whatever you want just gonna put it right here bring this down you know it's over here and what I basically did here was made a program changes in the volume so when I get to this point right here the volume of the track will begin to drop and get quieter as it get to this point here it'll begin to get louder and you'll know, get quieter and so forth you know you get the idea another way of doing this be, let me just select and delete this another way of doing this is selecting your smart tools and by and turning and the way you turn it on is just by clicking up here you know, just go here click up here and you turn on the smart tools and Go back to the line here and command click. Command click and you get the same dots. Okay. And then go and just click. Hold drag. You have to get you have to get your cursor over the dot for the hand tool to, to be enabled. So then I click hold drag. This, I'll do this. Okay. Yes. Okay, and let me just jump over to the mix window for you guys. So, if you want to get to the mix window, just go select window and select mix. Or keyboard command shortcut will be commands equals. So, select that. Now, I have my, my mix window here. I'll make it bigger for you guys. And here's my bass track right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and play so you see what happened. Notice that the, the fader is moving up and down on its own. I'm not doing anything to it. It's just the levels are moving up and down as own on its own, and that's and that's how you do automation. There's actually a few ways to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do that in, uh, in part two of this video. I'll see you in the next video.